Hi, this is Josh in the Education Department with another in our series of Process and Material Studio Visits. Today we're at the studio of artist and weaver Suzanne Tick, who uses her fine art pieces made in various media to create designs for textiles produced on a large scale. Suzanne will explain. I'm Suzanne Tick and I'm a textile designer and I have my own weaving studio here in New York City. And um, part, of, part of my process is to actually come up with new materials and new concepts of weaving. And um, I work with big clients like Knoll, um, Office Furniture, and I um, oversee a lot of the textile development that they do. And my, my expertise is really on uh, the marriage of organic uh, and technological materials. So what I have in the studio now and what we're um, kind of passionate about is, you know, what do we do with all the waste that comes into our lives every day? And, and in this particular case, um, what do we do with all the dry cleaning refuse that comes in? What do we do with the wires? Everything that we look at, we look at in, in terms of can this be woven? Can, can it be used as a substrate? Can it become a material that is a vi viable material in the industry or does it become art? This has taken on a life of its own really. So this, this whole project called Refuse DC is a series of hang hanging uh, panels that uh, use all the materials that we find in, in dry cleaning, like your hanger. And you know, this has always been such a beautiful piece of cardboard to me. It becomes the, the weft for our weaving structure. So this becomes one of the pieces that, that we weave with. I mean, it's so intense to like stick a piece of cardboard in your weave structure. Who would have thought that this, that a cardboard tube could become this magic moment in weaving. You know, this piece has, has spawned already a, uh, artwork for an upholstery fabric that we're, we'll be launching in May, so that's exciting. You know what we did? We took, a, we took one of the structures and we scanned it, and then from the scan, we, we blew up the pattern, and that pattern became the artwork for um, an upholstery fabric that's called Earthworks, that really shows these different dimensions and qualities and the, the thickness and thinness of what happens here. And um, so, I mean, we try to look at our, our work and, um, and, and figure out different uh, ways that that it inspires us. I mean, it just uh, I mean it just comes it comes to you, and it's surprising how p when people see these weave structures, they come up to them. They don't know what it is. I mean, they don't know if it's feathers. They have no concept of what it is. And when I talk about the common use of these materials that they're in their everyday lives, then the epiphany takes place. It's like this, you know, everything that you get into your household can become a piece of art. It can be moved and, and, and turned into something different. 